it's in, um, just what, what it end of a long game for you guys, kind of a wacky one. What did it mean for you to come in and be able to shut the door there in the ninth? Or 11th, sorry. Not the yeah, ninth. I mean, 11th inning, not quite the ninth. But <laughs> honestly, it, it felt amazing. It was a great team win. I mean, Pat throwed a little in the first, put it all together, and got through four or five, whatever it may have been. Definitely helped the bullpen, and then it was a battle. I mean, Zim came up with two big home runs early, and then, I mean, we scrapped – the rest of the game, Castro with the big double late, uh, Jay Hay with the sack fly. I mean, whole team effort. Uh, for you in your inning, I mean, how did you, how did you feel? I know it's kind of been some stops and starts here. Um, I guess where do you feel like you you are right now with your your arsenal, and how'd you feel tonight? Tonight felt great. Uh, still some pitches that I missed that I'm not completely happy with. Still got the job done, but it's uh, still a work in progress. There were some sliders that I definitely still yanked. Glove side that I think could have been better. I know you're always just trying to stack outs and keep guys where they are, but when you have a two-run lead and the automatic runners out there, does that change at all what you can do, how you can approach hitters? I mean, when when you start with a guy on a two-run lead, it's still one swing of the bat. So right. I mean, you're, you're still looking, I mean, to eliminate anything if possible. I mean, obviously, three outs in a row makes the game easy and you don't have to worry about anything. But one swing of the bat there, still a tie, tie game. If you make one big mistake. Thanks, man. Our second email, hey, Tanner, when you do pitch extra innings now, does that, do you almost like approach it like you were coming in mid inning because there is someone on base? You can't really think of it the same way you would as though you're starting an inning? Yeah, very similar. I mean, you, you, it's an inherited runner. I mean, just like you wouldn't want to give up someone else's run, kind of the same situation. You come in, I mean, you want to eliminate that guy from scoring at all costs. Obviously, our offense comes through and puts up two there in the top of the 11th, which makes that a little easier. That guy's not, doesn't have a whole lot of meaning unless the guy behind him scores well, so. For everything you've gone through, what does it mean to you that Davey gave you that opportunity to, to save the game? It means the world. I mean, when the staff still has faith in you, it means a lot. It gives you that chance to go back out there and continue to try to prove yourself and build outing after outing. Great, any other questions? Hey Dan, we, we often see your slider below the zone on that last one you got at the top. Is that, I don't know, is that like you're trying to surprise them or uh, I don't know, where's that come from? If I ever tell you I'm going to throw a high slider, you can call me a liar for the rest of my life. <laughs> Should we go back and check where the catcher's glove was or is that? Well, where he, where he set up wasn't exactly where uh, <laughs> the ball went either. So if I ever tell you I purposely try to throw a slider that didn't get down in the zone, at least to the bottom of the strike zone. I'm not saying completely buried, but I'm never trying to throw a slider in the top third of the zone. So when you get the result like that, how do you feel? Get. Take what you can get. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Thank you. Yep. All right. Any last ones? Okay. Thank you.